we are here at Mobile World Congress Americas 2019, where Nokia and Sprint have already deployed a commercial 5G network right here in Los Angeles. This is enabled throughout the convention center using Nokia's 5G airscale massive MIMO radio units. We're also exploring all the different types of use cases that 5G will enable in the future to deliver the extraordinary. Ron, we're here in LA and we launched the 5G market with you back in August. So how is the Sprint 5G network performing today? We're really excited to give customers their first opportunity to experience truly mobile 5G network. You know, with Nokia, we've launched our four largest markets, uh, New York City, Los Angeles, where we're at, as well as Washington, D.C., and Phoenix. And we're seeing overall, on average, about six times the speeds on 5G that we see via UCLA speed test than we have on, on LTE. So over 200 megabits per second on average. Sprint's already deployed 5G. Now, how are you planning to keep up with the increasing capacity demand that you see going forward in the network? Yeah, sure, our, our 5G was deployed with a massive MIMO radios with uh, 64 transmit antennas and 64 receive. And that, that is split half and half between LTE and 5G. That technology combined with a multi-user MIMO allows us to do those peak speeds I talked about to multiple users simultaneously via beam forming, so separate beams to multiple users. And we're demonstrating that here with LTE with uh, multi-user MIMO and the 5G NR has 4x4 MIMO and we're seeing peak speeds around two gigabits per second. Excellent, thank you, Ron. Daniel, we're here at the Sprint booth, so can you tell us a little bit more about the low latency 5G use case that we have here? Absolutely, Jason. So what we have here today is a penalty kick uh, demonstration. You take this virtual ball and you kick it against both a 4G and a 5G goalie. So the goal of the demo is to show that the 5G goalie, which is more agile, is a lot harder to score against. Now, the entire objective of this demonstration is to show that the combination of both 5G and virtual reality can open use cases for the consumers. But not only that, uh, the 5G low latency and the high speeds can open up a plethora of new uh, opportunities. For example, like immersive learning for schools, or if you do a virtual cooperation meeting designs uh, in corporate environments, that can help uh, to explore new types of use cases in the 5G world. Excellent, that's some great examples of how Nokia 5G is really delivering the extraordinary. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. In collaboration with Sprint here today, we have shown not only the high capacity of 5G, but also the low latency capabilities and all the types of new use cases that that will bring with the next phases of 5G. Thank you.